Oh man, so exciting. So is anyone into Super Robot Wars here? So interesting news, uh, Super Robot Wars announced that they're teaming up with Bandai in the near future to create models of their intellectual property, IP. I mean, of course, there's no way to know exactly what they're planning to release, but I think we can have a lot of fun uh, making guesses. So uh, let's do that. I mean, I could be super wrong. I'm gonna pat myself on the back if I'm right, but uh, I could be very, very wrong. Let's just have fun. There's so much potential in the SRW for Bandai to release kits really good kids like really interesting kids out there so de definitely comment on what you want to see comment like and subscribe so i get a feeling this is actually gonna be a lot of katoki kids uh, i don't know if you agree so at least at the beginning there's gonna be a lot of katoki kids just because the huke bind is designed by katoki i mean i've been talking about katoki non-stop in the past months or so but Hey, I kind of like him, so sorry if you guys don't like him, but I like him as a friend. They also announced that Sentinel, the toy maker, action figure makers, will be released in the SRX, and it will most likely be fully transformable. Uh, SRX is designed by Katoki, so that's why. And and also, if you take a look at the SRW kits uh, made by Bandai in the past, like the, like the action figure has mostly Katoki design toys. So for example, x um, the Hyuke Bind cost signature, and then there's also a uh, Cybuster, but it's a Katoki version. So, uh, so I think the easy thing Bandai can do is release maybe uh, HG-144 Hyuke Bind since uh, since they already made the cost signature version and that will give them a few variations. Or maybe they'll jump in and just straight up do a master grade of Hyuke Bind and version Katoki Hyuke Bind. Oh, that's cool. Oh man, the master grade Hyuke Bind. I don't want to get into master grade yet, but we'll talk about it later. But that's really exciting to talk about. So on the real robot side, I guess we'll see Hyuke Bind Mark II, Hyuke, Hyuke Bind Mark III, and maybe even Hyuke Bind Boxer. x Bind, x Bind Ash would be a lot of fun to see. Of course, I would definitely want to see the fully transformable SRX R1, R2, R3, and of course, R Gun, and what's his name? Art One. So I would love to see those. Maybe start with HG. Maybe start with like 144 scale. And then don't forget the Veiled Virga. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Like I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm half reading the Japanese pronunciation and half of the German pronunciation. So Veiled Virga and the Veiled Falcon. HG version of those would be super cool. I love those two. And I mean, of course, the non Katoki stuff like Sidebuster and Grunzon and the Mazokishin series would be really nice to see. And don't forget the, don't forget the Gespenst. I think the Gespenst variation, the Ghost, All Tyson and All Tyson Rise. Oh man, so many cool ones. I mean, what? <laughs> I'm not even predicting anything. I'm just listing all the SW kids up. Sorry. It's not a wish list when you just list all of them. But yeah, man, let's get excited about this stuff. So like, I feel like Bandai would do the same thing that Kotobukiya did so 144 scale HG and then follow up with perhaps master grade of one, one, 100 scale of the more popular ones so version Katoki Hyuke Bind get this master grade EX Hyuke Bind Boxer what about that uh, or the master grade EX SRX so both would be like Master Grade version Katoki. Holy crap, how cool would that be? I mean, x Spine, x Spine Boxer. So Master Grade x Spine with the, the x Spine Boxer that's a Master Grade EX might be Pete Bandai. But yeah, holy crap. The prospect of having all these kids in Master Grade would be so cool. Bandai will probably have to test the water with the HG kids first. I think the, the price point will hover around like $20 and then move on to the Master Grade, which would be a higher price price point. I didn't even think about real grade, but I think there might be some real grade as well. Let's go to the Super robot side so super robots like my singer uh, getter robots and all that good stuff i think the super robots from the super robot wars we actually mix well with the hg Mazinger. so they they can actually already go into the hg line all the grun gust the original grun gust type 2 type 3 and type 0 hg daizenga anyone want that and this one uh oh german words again the ausenzeiter the hg ausenzeiter i love that word daizenga and ausenzeiter could very well be HG versions of- Oh man, so exciting. See, you think we'll see a Master Grey version of these? They haven't released the Mazinger in Master Grey, so I don't know how that works. Can they release like the these guys, like the super robots in Master Grey? Maybe, maybe. They might do it. it it'll be super big. It'll be really big. I don't know. Uh, I'd love to see it. Yeah, so uh, I should have just read the list of all the robots. But yeah, I, I mean, that's a problem when you like all of them, right? I think they're just too many to cover. And I probably missed a bunch. These are really fun to guess. Like, so much fun to guess what they might release. So let me know in the comments what SRW kids you want to see. Let me know if I missed anything. Um, yep. That's it. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.